So I've got the um, heater box done. I've got to bolt on just a few last few things, but um, basically I've um, got the new foam bits in and uh, the new radiator core and um, all the ceiling stuff. This is not bolted in yet, so I can just take out the new fan and then there's the new radiator core. And as I put stuff um, in, I, um, I like to make sure that the car is rattle free, so basically I'll be using all these different types of closed and open cell foam. You can see my massive foam here. So basically this foam, it's eighth inch foam, and this stuff is up to a quarter of an inch diameter, and just wherever I think the car is going to rattle, or whether there's going to be some, some, some movement, I will, um, you know, get the bits of foam out, cut them, and stick them in places so that the car is nice and rattle-free if possible. And so this unit, same thing. When I slid in the uh, the heater core, I made sure I put a little extra foam stripping around it, uh, just so that everything that can move, anything that flips open or close, has a nice soft, uh, soft uh, feel to it. So. Um, there you go, that's about it. I got the heater box all finished up and a new uh, male fan installed. And uh, it's old school, right? Because it uses the uh, resistor to slow the fan down. So effectively that resistor gets pretty hot when you're on the lowest setting. So you can either go in direct so that full, full volts blowing away or you can go medium and then of course the low and really the controls on this are very simple right you've either got uh, you can block off the um, um, the windscreen defrost or windscreen uh, unit and you can block off the uh, the bottom heat so the default is it's always blowing air out the um, the front facing vents and uh, you can turn those off at the um, you know at the uh, at the vent itself and then control the heat to the bottom control the heat or the cooling to the top so anyway I'll uh, throw that in the car and uh, along with the windshield wiper assembly in the next uh, couple of days um, sort of the start of putting things on the car that are non-engine related well I um, got the fittings from Davies Craig in Australia so those guys are ready to go and the radiator shipped yesterday so I will get it uh, midweek so all these things should be mountable get the radiator in um, some a connection between the uh, the nitrous um, purge solenoid and the, the quadrinoid so I got that those fittings from the British to the American ones and then there is the dead and bare uh, solenoid for the uh, nitrous um, the high pressure air, that 3000 psi uh, solenoid that's going to control the uh, the nitrous push system. And then I've just wrapped up, I finished polishing and um, wet sanding up to 2000 grit the um, the intake um, air box uh, and uh, vacuum plenum. Uh, so all that stuff is going in for anodizing this week.